Welcome to Dartsman's E-Secret Life. Please welcome your host. Is it Dartsman? No, it isn't. We have a guest host. We have a guest host. A fellow YouTube presenter and subscriber to Dartsman's YouTube channel. It is Mr. Stephen James. and welcome to my new video now before I get started make sure you hit that like button subscribe button and don't forget to turn on that bell notification yes and before I even get started for the people who commented on my last video here is your shout out now today's video I'm doing an interview with a special guest and he's called Dartsman aka David Shipley now this video is all about mental health now, I have suffered mental health as well. Do you know what? Every day, there is somebody somewhere who suffers from mental health. And there are signs to look out for. And do you guys know what the signs are for mental health? Here are some of the signs to watch out for. Yeah, in my local area, in Newcastle, there's always people who find a bridge and are trying to jump off it. In the past couple of months there has been a couple of people who have jumped and sadly they have passed away. Now in suicides and mental health not a lot of people talk about it, especially for the males. Males do not really speak up about it and we need to make more people speak out and get help and this is a hard thing to do. And this is what, why one of the interviews I'm doing with David, he has suffered mental health for a long, long time. And I'll be doing a few questions to him uh, via Messenger, because we were going to do it like in here. But I think it's best with everything going on with the COVID-19 virus, everything that we did on Messenger. But yeah, I don't know if you guys remember almost two years ago, if you have been on my, on my channels, that I have suffered mental health with uh, depression a couple of years ago and I want to talk about this for, for a minute because I suffered quite a bit and not many people knew this, there's a few people who knew this um, one day I found my best friend dead on the sofa and that really got to me so much I go as normal to have a cup of coffee at his he was a few floors up for me because I live in a lot of flats and uh, at first I thought I was asleep yeah, I had found him dead lying on the sofa. He had this like stuff coming out of his mouth and that was the biggest shock for me. I couldn't get that out of my mind. That really, you know, I sobbed my heart out control uncontrollably. And that led to me doing I was on depression tablets and then I was on I took all sorts, you know what I mean? And uh, I did try taking overdose because of that. And um which to me at the time it's hard because you, your mind overthinks and getting that out of your mind is uh, quite hard to do. Um, but I don't know if you guys remember I was in hospital for like a few days and one of my fans actually made a video for me trying to uh, make awareness of it and he even set up a GoFundMe account for it to try and get me a break but I told him to take it down. Um, I didn't want the pity, you know what I mean, but, you know, I 
I don't know if you guys have been to any mental health or depression link, but if you know that you find it, it's a very, very hard thing to talk about. And for me, when I, when I did that overdose, you know, people were telling me that they, oh, you're a silly boy, you should have done that and everything. But you know what? People can call me silly boys all around, but unless you've actually been there, you don't know what a person's going to do. You know? So, if you guys can't remember this video, I had this video on my channel as well, but I can't remember if I, I'm sure I've took it down though, you know, because it was a bit sad. But, uh, if you guys can't remember the video of what my friend did for me, Dylan, here is a reminder of that video. Isn't it? Yes, but it may be depressing, but it's what I've been doing there. Uh, you know, it's hard, and some people are still going through it. So I just thought I'd make this video because I want people to make aware that there is help out there. You know, there is Samaritans who you can talk to, there's friends you can talk to, and all sorts. But for me, I didn't, I didn't feel that like I had nobody around me at the time. You know, because the best mate had just died, who I'm with all the time. And that was the hardest thing ever to do. So yeah, so I decided to do this video and just to uh, interview one of my friends who's actually going to do mental health. I think he's gone through it for about 11 years. Question for you guys, have you guys ever suffered from mental health? Or do you, do you know anybody who's been through it? And if you do, you know how hard it is. Now the biggest thing for me, finding my, my best mate down on the sofa, is I didn't know what to do. You know what I mean? got the biggest shot of my life. You know what I mean? I sat there for about 20 minutes before I even rang anybody. Just trying to put through my head what was going on. You know, almost two years and I'm, I still am missing like crazy. You know what I mean? It's absolutely hard. But yeah, so, you know, it's just, it's hard to go through. And yeah, when you see posts on social media now where there's a, people attempting to jump up and everything, you see comments when they're saying, oh God, just another attention seeker and all that. So you know what, people who make comments like that are just crazy. You know what I mean? How can you call them attention seekers? Unless you know what is going on in somebody's mind, you just don't have a clue. For me, years and years ago, I mean, for 20 years ago, I've been through a lot, you know what I mean, in the past six years. And the biggest thing about mental health is that you can sit on your own and your mind overthinks. And when it overthinks, that's when it can be real trouble. I know myself personally, it can cause a lot of trouble, it can cause a lot of arguments, it can cause yourself to feel really down and low. And this is why males find it hard to talk about it. And we need to get everyone to speak up. Not just males who find it hard to talk about, it's females as well. Sometimes you get depression in kids as well. So yeah, so I thought I'd just do this uh, quick video, well I don't think it's going to be quick by a time I get it up, you know what I mean, but uh, I think like I say, it is hard to talk about and 
we need to make these mental vid awareness videos and people who are suffering, we need to get it out there and make it more aware because there's still a lot of problems. And especially with COVID-19 now, it's just like, it's even harder because people have been furloughed, lost their job, and they just don't know what to do, where to turn to, and that has caused more cases in mental health, and it's caused people to harm themselves, and even the worst case scenario, find a bitch and they jump off. It sounds really, really sad, because it really is. But, yeah. but now, I'm going to go over to to David now with the, with the questions I'm going to interview him with, and uh, don't forget guys, as you're watching this video, make sure you, you hit that like button, and keep uh, watching. So yeah, let me introduce you to David Dartsman, aka David Shipley. Now I had to write these questions down because I could never remember what I'm going to ask. So here's some of the questions I asked him and he's going to uh, answer them. Okay, let's get started. Thank you for agreeing to do this interview David. How are you doing today and how are you feeling? Hi Stephen, yes, good, thank you. I know you have suffered with mental health a while, David. Can I ask how long have you suffered with your health and when did you realise something was wrong? Um, well, this all started back in 2009 when I worked up Netro in uh, Newcastle. Um, the reasons for the mental health was just basically um, obviously due to um, failures in the work environment and obviously I was being you know ridiculed for me speed of work Um mostly I think it was down to you know customers being you know really abusive and obviously you know not having a clue about autism and mental health and a couple of lads who I worked with at um, Neto as well um, well one of them wasn't as bad but one of them was you know was in the army and obviously you know he has a tone of voice where it just really got dragged me down and and obviously it wasn't healthy working with him um but yeah there were loads of failures at work and obviously it's now 11 years and obviously i've been permanently damaged with autism and mental health but what can you do when you are feeling low, how do you pick yourself back up? And is there anything you could advise people on what to do if they are feeling low right now, David? Well, um, I would say probably keep yourself busy as much as you can. Enjoy doing what you do. It's like me, I do my video blogs to help me cope whenever I'm down or most of the time if I'm all right. Um, but there are plenty of organisations where you can talk to as well, like the Samaritans, and obviously they're free now to talk on the phone. So if you dial 116-123, that's now a free like, landline, because I know you used to have to pay for it in the past. So I recommend that. And also just do what you do and make sure you get plenty of exercise as well, and that's a good remedy. There must be a time where you thought, I must seek help. Do you find it easy or hard to speak up, as many people don't speak up on? I normally find things like that um, a little hard to, to admit to needing help. Um, obviously, I do tend to vent on social media or, you know, message people when, you know, they don't need to be messaged for that sort of thing. Um, I would say that organisations and obviously speaking to my counsellor is um, probably not so difficult to do because I know that I'm getting help and being put on the right track. Are you getting any help at the moment David and who helps you? Uh, yes I'm getting help um, from a trained um, coach who's also a counsellor, her name's Polly. Um, so we've been having sessions um, about five or six, sorry, no, four. So I've got another 22 sessions to go. So I've got it for the whole year, um, which is, she seems to be a, a really good at, at our job, etc. cetera. Um, she just basically just, you know, finds out about me and 
and what are my challenges in life and how to progress through those challenges in a more positive way especially with the COVID-19 that's going on etc if someone is watching this video David and is suffering with their mental health what advice would you say to them uh, I would say probably the best course of action is if your life is in danger immediately dial 999 but if you're suffering from problems that need to be dealt with and you're unsure the best way is to dial 111 for further help and support and obviously contact the Samaritans as well on 116 123 as you know David there's a lot of suicides in Newcastle and there's a lot of jumpers off the bridge. Do you think the council should put nets under the bridges or do you think it's a waste of time? Uh, what can I say? Um, well, I mean, the, there's been numerous amounts of suicides up on the Reggie Bridge uh, in town. Um, but I think not necessarily just nets, but I would say signs as well to remind people that there, are, there is help out there regardless of you know whatever circumstances they've got themselves into or whatever is you know overwhelming and you know not uh, worth living for but obviously there is you know help out there for people in order to convince themselves to carry on that you know life is for living um but i think you know the council needs to tackle this issue a lot more often Finally, I hope you are doing well, David, and hope you are on the way to recovering with your health. Is there anything you would like to say or thank people who has helped you along with your illness? Uh, yes, um, I'd like to thank all of my viewers for following me over the past three years on Dartsman's Key Secret Life. Um, I'd like to thank my mummy, and I'd like to thank Linda, Ginny, I'd like to thank everyone around North Shields who know me for keeping my strength up for me. Um, I'm okay at the moment. I'm just taking days each day as it comes. Um, thank you, Stephen. It's been a pleasure. Okay, David, thank you for doing them quick questions for me. I do really appreciate you coming on to do that. Fortunately, I'm, it's a case where we couldn't be together and do the interview properly. We had to do it via messenger. But... Never mind. But yeah, guys, um, as, as I said before, mental health is a hard thing to do. I've suffered from it. I know people who have suffered from it. Now, if you haven't suffered from, suffered from it and you've got friends who are going to do it or you think they're going to do it, you need to get them the help as soon as possible. Because if people are quiet and they're feeling low, you know, maybe it's a sign from the start. I will put a number up on the end of this video as well. For Samaritans for you to get help if you want that. But yeah, going back to where I found my best friend dead, honestly that was the hardest time for me ever. And even when I found my best friend dead, half an hour later I had to go up back to the flat where he was lying on the sofa because the police wanted me to identify his body and to me that was the hardest thing ever. I've never really spoke to anybody about this before. And going back up there and seeing him lying there when the police wanted me to identify his body, I noticed the body had moved. They must have been doing something with his body before I went up there. And I was just, the way the police just like interviewed me, stood in the, in the doorway where the best mate Bob was just lying there. It was, it was terrible. I mean, they could have moved me into another room. But they had their back to Bob on the sofa and I was standing there so I could see everything that was going on. I had two nurses sitting like at the window, you know what I mean? And I was standing there getting interviewed and I was like, this is terrible. I was had a shock of my life and I had to identify the body 30 minutes later. Um, it wasn't until I was on my own that I actually broke down in tears. I sobbed my heart out. You know, nobody around. I mean, I had a friend who was with us when I found him, well, who I told him when I found him. Um, but I kept 
all my emotions in. But yeah, I mean, if you guys not experienced that before, find somebody lying dead on the sofa, or sofa or anywhere like that, your mind goes through some stuff, believe me. It is very hard to think what is going on. You know what I mean? And I would never wish that on anybody. You know what I mean? But even when, you know, Bob was alive, I even, we even choked on quite a few times, you know, because he liked to drink, you know what I mean? We got to the point where he was drinking. He ended up with COPD, and we even joked that one day I'm going to find him dead. <laughs> what I think to joke about, but I did find him, and that was the hardest thing to do. But yeah, but this is just a, a video just to, for awareness and just to say you're not alone out there who has suffered from mental health. And uh, it's a thing we all need to talk about. Like I said, especially with this COVID-19, it is just, everyone is suffering at the moment. Everyone is losing their jobs, and there's people out there who find mental health so hard at the moment. It's just crazy. But it feels like I'm baffling on now, you know what I mean? But yeah. Also, I want to give a shout out to uh, to somebody who I promised I'd give him a shout out to. This is to Reese Plays. He's a YouTuber, he does gaming. And if you want to see Reese do gaming of your into gaming, then you can go and watch his channel. I will put a link in the description below of his channel. And this is his channel up there as well. Um, so yeah, but if you guys want to shout out in the next video, all you have to do is follow my socials and share this video and share it on your socials, either Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and uh, screenshot it, send me a copy or send me a proof, and uh, I will guarantee to shout everybody out who, who does it. And this is the way it's going to go forward. Um, I'm hoping to to grow more. In the past couple of days I've grew a few more subs so I'm trying to hit 600 subs. So if you guys can help me grow and I will never forget you. I will always shout you out whoever shares this video as well. So yeah, until the next video guys, I will see you later. And don't forget, if you're feeling low or you suffer from mental health or your son is going through it, make sure you speak up and get help, even though it is quite hard to do. But there is somebody out there for you. And my source is on the end of this video. Don't forget to follow me. See you later, guys.